welcome back to my channel, the Travel Olic Sailor. This side, second mate here, and today I am here with a new video, one exciting video uh, in front of you. So today I am going to show you all about the ships EEBD and SCV sets and fireman outfits which we use in case of fire on board or during drills and other things. So these are very important equipment. If in case of fire on board, you have to fully rely on these equipments only. So testing of these equipments and checks are very important for everybody. Not only the officers, everybody should know. Even the galley department should know how to test this equipment, how to wear it and how to operate this equipment. So guys, let's go and check out about this equipment. So guys, let's go. Guys, as you know that for every ship, we should have at least four SCBA set on board, self-contained breathing apparatus for firefighting. And because we are uh, chemical tanker, we have additional three SCBA sets with chemicals as per IPC code. So every chemical tanker required three additional SCBA sets and also one chemical suit, so that if there is a spillage on the deck while loading chemical. So people can deal with the spill using the SCBA set and chemical suit so that the chemical will not harm them. And uh, about EBD emergency escape breathing device, we have EBD in each cabin. In each room we have one EBD. So for everybody as per IBC code in chemical tankers, everybody should have their individual EBDs in their cabin. So guys, let's go and check out our SCBA set and EBD we have on board. So guys, let's go. So guys, this is the SCVA set we have on board with a bottle capacity of 200 bar pressure. Let me show you some detail about this SCVA set. So this is called the face mask and it is connected with this hose to this bottle. This is the gauge to check how much is the bottle pressure. This is the air bottle. We have one additional air bottle also with each set. And this one is the backrest. This is the backrest. And these are the stripes. These are the stripes to wear this uh, SCBA set. Before wearing this equipment in case of actual fire or scenario, you need to check first how is your face mask. Whether it is properly, uh, whether it is not leaking. Uh, you should check it should not leaking. Because otherwise if you wear a leaking mask, then when you wear it, the smoke will enter to your mask and on the purpose you say. So what, how you have to do? Just wear this mask like this and after that inhale the air so that one vacuum will create. I will show you. See, I am inhaling and vacuum is creating. That means it is not leaking. The mask is all okay, it is not leaking. Then after that we need to check the stripes there should be no cut or everything looks good no cut and the equipment is okay and then we need to check physically the condition of equipment like there should be no leak nothing is broken everything is seems good so guys after checking the physical condition of, of your equipment uh, SCBA said you need to do two tests before wearing this equipment that is uh, high pressure leak test and whistle test so whenever, this is the 200 bar uh, bottle pressure uh, equipment, so whenever uh, the air pressure drop below 50 bar, it will give a whistle. You can see this gauge here, there is one marking in red color and after 50 bar it is showing red. So whenever the air pressure dropped below 50 bar, it will start, uh, start giving you a whistle. A warning whistle that the air pressure is low, so you should come out from a smoke, uh, smoke filled area or compartment. I am going to show you how to do the high pressure leak test. So for doing the high pressure leak test, there is one valve here. See, this is the 
there is a red color button demand well so you have to lock this demand well by pressing this so i have pressed it already after this you have to open the bottle pressure this is the valve to open the bottle so i am opening it see it is fully open now you have to check the pressure gauge so the pressure gauge is showing around 180 190 bar so 10% of up and down is allowed so if it is a 200 bar uh, bottle so 180 till 180 bar if you pressurize this uh, uh, bottle that is okay but below it it will be a remark so you have to check this the uh, after opening this and demand valve is closed the bottle pressure is not decreasing it is steady see it is steady in 180 bar it is not reducing so you have to check for 1 minute so the bottle pressure should not reduce to 10 bar per minute if it is reducing means there is a leak somewhere in this line so it is leaking somewhere but now our bottle pressure is not reducing it is constant 180 bar so there is no leak so our scb set is okay there is no leak and we have passed high pressure leak test for our scb set now i am going to do the whistle test in front of you so for whistle test what i have to do first let me close this valve the valve is already closed and the pressure is still 180 bar so leak test it is not leaking anywhere so now i need to wear the mask and slowly inhale the air because our bottle pressure is already closed bottle valve is already closed so whatever air inside the line it will i will take it slowly i will inhale it slowly so the pressure will drop below 50 bar so as the pressure drop below 50 bar it will start giving alarm whistle so this whistle listen carefully guys this is the important thing let me wear the mask and inhale the air so guys i am inhaling the air and you will uh, hear a whistle coming out after dropping 50 bar the whistle came so that is that was the warning whistle it will give you when the pressure drop below 50 bar so this is the whistle test for our scb set our whistle is working it is uh, giving alarm when the pressure is dropping below 50 bar so guys i have shown you uh, how to do the initial checks before wearing the scb set high pressure leak test uh, whistle test as well as physical checks so after doing these things you are ready to wear your scb set for fire fighting or drill and uh, make sure that your bottle pressure is fully charged 200 bar if it is a 200 bar uh, bottle it should be charged till 200 bar if it is a 300 bar then it should be fully charged up to 300 bar and most important thing is whenever this whistle comes whenever the bottle pressure drop below 50 bar you should come out immediately that is a warning with uh, whistle for you that the air pressure is less and if you stay inside it will be very problem for you so as soon as you hear this whistle you should immediately leave the compartment and come out next equipment in our list is eebd emergency escape breathing device so as i have already explained you this is a chemical tanker so everybody in their room having their individual eebd as well we have eebds in different location of the ship including engine room bridge and everywhere and also uh, individual ebd for each person so guys let's go and check out our ebd on board so let's go this is the ebd we have on board every ship will having a ebd it may be a different maker or uh, different manufacturer but the concept concept will be same in each ebd so this ebd having capacity of 15 minutes you can use it for 15 minutes and one thing guys this is very important the purpose of ebd is only for escape the name itself is emergency escape breathing device so this piece of equipment is not for fire fighting it is only for escape if you are in uh, in a smoke filled compartment you need to wear this and come out this is only for the escape not for the fire fighting if you try to do fire fighting it will not protect you from the heat of the fire and 
you may die also and also guys this is only for 15 minutes you can wear it only for 15 minutes and you can you have to wear it open the bottle pressure and just come out from the smoke filled compartment so let me show you what is inside i have already opened the bag there is one bottle here yellow color 200 bar bottle the hose it is connected to this face mask and there is a valve here see you can see this valve to operate this EVD so instruction is given here already so in every shape you will find this instruction everywhere how to operate this EVD so if in case of waiting inspection and you forget how to operate this or how to uh, wear it or how to open the valve or something you just you can just read this uh, the instruction and you can just explain the uh, surveyor he will all, he will satisfy by this you should not uh, be get nervous that I have forget everything just read this instruction and uh, just tell him he will be more than happy so in case of fire and you have to evacuate to, by wearing this EVD what you have to do simply open this bag there is a chain here just open this I have already opened this one for you just take out this mask just wear this mask this is a mask here See, just wear it uh, in your face and just and just open this valve this is the bottle valve and escape the main purpose of EVD is only for escape so just open this and escape the area and guys there are some checks every third mate need to do weekly or as per their PMS the checks are this bottle pressure it should be showing 200 bar see now our bottle pressure is 200 bar and the physical condition uh, need to be checked also be before wearing also we need to check the physical condition whether it should not be damaged if it is damaged or leaking then whole purpose will be lost EVD is a very important equipment it is for your own safety so everybody should know this also and this is an individual equipment in your cabin so you should know how to operate it and also you should know the locations so that in case of fire or emergency you can escape uh, from your cabin from your room or from the accommodation where the fire is there I have shown you the EVD on board uh, regarding how to check it, how to wear it and the instructions. If you have any doubt about any equipment, just write it down in the comment section and I will surely read it and I, I will surely explain it. And if you have any doubt regarding previous videos also, you can write it down. I have uploaded many marine videos as well as many travel vlogs, you can check out guys. I have uploaded many things for you to watch and enjoy and also subscribe my channel after uh, watching the videos you will surely like it and this channel is kind of kind of marine knowledge channel as well as travel blog so this channel will be helpful for new guys those who are joining merchant navy as an officer or crew or engineers and this channel is also for them who want to know how is the life on board a ship so they will also enjoy our life on board a ship so guys do subscribe my channel the travelolic sailor uh, comment give me comment give me suggestion or if you want to tell me some specific topic in which i have to make video i'll surely read it and make it so guys let's check out our next list of equipment that is fireman outfit so guys let's go this is the fireman outfit we have and the equipments of fireman outfit purpose of fireman outfit is for firefighting this is for the firefighters they will wear this equipment and take this equipment and go for firefighting so so all these equipments will be there inside this bag i have already taken out uh, all the equipment from this bag to show you guys this is the fireman outfit this is, these are the boots here gloves helmet this is the fire resistance rope it will not catch fire the torch here, face mask, this is the axe, it is having a rubber coating so it is also electrical resistance. So these are some equipments of fireman outfit and these are for the firefighters to wear and do the firefighting. 
and also we have fireman outfit walkie talkies let me show you the walkie talkies so this is the fireman outfit walkie talkies fireman walkie talkies as per new regulation every ships should have at least four walkie talkies for the firefighters communication so these with this mouthpiece connected to it so this is the walkie talkie for the firefighters i am going to show you some checks permits and also the firefighters before wearing this need to be checked checks are physical checks only like you should check the condition of this fireman outfit condition of this uh, this rope nothing should be uh, the condition should be okay there should be no cut you should check this torch whether this torch is glowing or not see it is glowing it is working and other things physical condition like physical condition of this gloves uh this boot and all these things you need to check and for permits also they need to check it every weekly every monthly as per their pms so these are the very important equipments and this this is for our own safety and in case there is a bsc inspection or a wetting inspector comes he will surely check this equipment as cbs said sure shot he will check and if he find something wrong he will give you remark and that will be a high risk remark and if psc uh, find something uh, something missing or uh, something not working he will surely give you remark he can detain the vessel also i think i have explained you everything regarding all the equipments ebd scb fireman outfit their checks and if you have any doubt regarding anything you can just write it down in your in the comment section and i'll show the reply this video will specially helpful for those guys who are uh, who want to join merchant navy as well as the people who want to know about the life on board a ship so guys do subscribe my channel the travel over sailor and i am also a travel vlogger i i already uploaded many videos and many traveling videos you can watch it and enjoy it so guys this is second mate here signing off now and i'll see you with a new video so let's go